And the multitude said, This is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. And Jesus went into the temple of God, and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple, and overthrew the tables of the money changers, and the seats of them that sold doves, and said unto them, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye it is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. Surveillance video shows a man picking up a chair in the waiting area and chucking it across the counter onto Manjit. Two days later, you can see where that chair dented a freezer. The restaurant's TV also damaged during the incident. Watch, 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 your head, brother. watch, watch, watch yourself. You mean this guy right here? Him? Him and Jesus? Him? Him? And the multitude said, This is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. And Jesus went into the temple of God, and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple, and overthrew the tables of the money changers, and the seats of them that sold doves, and said unto them, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye it is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit which ye have not received, or another gospel which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. For I suppose I was not a whit behind the very cheapest apostles. But though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge, for we have been thoroughly made manifest among you in all things. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechah, Dash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. As uh, Shalom and peace to the elect, okay, which means peace to the elect. Also, Shalom to the families that's uh, laboring, or let me say, doing your part to help uh, in this truth, okay? I want to go on this video. Um, it's actually a response off of Vocab Malone's video. Um, three minutes of Hebrew Israelite folly. One Westers, you know. Now I did notice that the uh, the the one that I recognized with uh, Apostle Rakab, uh punching the Caesar sign, which is just a piece of cardboard. Um, vocab will never teach who that man really was that he was punching. That imposter, okay, Caesar Borgias, okay, put up in about thirteen fifty six. I mean fourteen fifty six. Somewhere during the time of the Renaissance, okay, who is a remake or a revamp off of Serapis Christi, okay? So he would never go into the history of who this man was that has deceived our people. And I am in totally agree agreeance of, uh, hell, I might go to camp and punch the sound my damn self, you know? But he cuts that part to, to make us look like we're just angry people. And, you know, the thing about it, it's really a good thing for Vocab because all he's doing is helping build his audience and helping people ensure the fact that um, what we're doing is wrong. That is a necessary evil, okay, because um, we have to know that these people are going to hate us and he's just helping that along. Also, uh, I was talking to a younger brother today and we was going into... He was saying, you know, it's kind of tricky. Is vocab a Jake or an Israelite? You know, and it is tricky because when you look at vocab, he's very diligent in scoffing. Okay? The scripture says there should come in the last day scoffers. A lot of that, even though he's a scoffer, and, you know, brothers may think he's an Edomite, but, you know, it's debatable because this man is diligent in his scoffing. And I don't see many Edos that diligent in scoffing. What they do. There's subtile, you know, they they uh, work their carnality through the pen and doing sneaky and passing draconian laws and throwing shots, you know. They're never that diligent in, uh, you know, coming against us. And you would have to think if he's, if he is an Edo, is it possible that other guys that came against us that look like me or the average Israelite, could they have been an Edomite? Because if you give the pass for vocab to be behaving like that, to be a pure Edomite, then that means 
that there's Jake Debbin who looks like Jake Debbin coming against us who could be who could be Edo's as well. I don't know. It's just something I threw out there. But anyway, I just wanted to go into this video um, with this guy vocab and the, our perception of what Jesus was, which they call Jesus, Yahweh which I'll read the scripture again, Matthew 21, 12. And Yahweh went to the temple of Yahweh, cast all them that sold and brought into the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold doves. Why? Because he was angry. So the perception that the Christians vocab and everybody gives of the one you call Jesus is this uh, long haired Charles Manson peace guy from the 1970s, you know? And through peace, they work iniquity, okay? That's another thing with all the laws of the Bible are totally done away with. They don't believe in no laws of the Bible so they can work iniquity and cause you to go off. This is why women dress the way they do. This is why feminism exists. They're not keeping one law of the scriptures. They, up, they uphold not one law, you know? So when I put this clip in there with the Jake... Who threw, the who threw the chair, he was upset because they told him he couldn't use the phone and he felt it was unjust. Now, when you read the scriptures, Yahweh said, if you're going to follow the Heavenly Father, you must follow me. And so does that mean we must be tough as Yahweh or should we be as the hippie Jesus of the 70s? See, that hippie Jesus is what caused you to lose your ability of to be a man, Okay. And now you're effeminate. Okay? That's what I see. Let's go to Matthew 23 and 20. Um, uh, 27. Woe unto you. Now this whole chapter, he was getting on the Pharisees, you know. So they were scoffers. You had some of them with the scoffers as well. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites. For ye are like unto witted sepulchres which uh, indeed appear beautiful and out, outward, okay, but are within full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanliness, okay? So when you look at vocab, you know, these, these scriptures really go to Israelites. So when you look at vocab, to a lot of people, he looks like a righteous Christian. But inside... He's going to, and we know this goes to us that's in the truth and the know-how. But to a lot of people, vocab looks like a uh, well-mannered, well-doctrinated Christian. Okay? Well, we all know Christianity has done nothing for our people. It's all false. It's all fake. And we've gotten screwed behind Christianity. But his job is to bring a new light to Christianity. And that new light is uh, casting darkness on us. Okay, he said, Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteousness unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. That's going into guys that's... There, there is Israelites who are like that. The comforter was one. Okay? So let's go to Luke. Luke, uh, this is going through, I believe, when Yahweh passed through Jericho. Okay? Uh, we read this a lot going into the uh, man that held held held, uh, held his uh, his pounds in the, in the napkin and tried to hide it and then used the excuse to say Lord this is why I hid it because I knew well let's go on um, let's go to Luke 19 and 21 it says for I feared let me go to 19 and he also and he said likewise to him but thou also over five cities, a pound have gained uh, gained five pounds. And he said likewise to him, be thou also over five cities. And another came saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept, which he was supposed to go out. You know, and this is why we say to go out and spread this uh, word, this gospel. Okay. You can't sit in a house, keep the truth to yourself. Okay. Uh, and it goes on to say, which I have kept laid up in the napkin. Okay? All these things that were done physically as far as spirituality today. He said, for I feared thee. So this will be compatible 
to saying, well, I didn't go teach anybody. I didn't go out there and spread anything because I need to be saved. I fear the Lord, so I don't want to take a chance and try to get wake anybody else up, okay? He says, for I fear thee because thou art an austere man, okay? Uh, so let's stop there. Let's go to austere, okay? That word austere man, okay? So this Jesus that you see that Apostle Ricard was punching on, was uh, you know wasn't an austere man. Well, let me say in wickedness, they put that picture on the front and show him as this hippie peaceful guy. And you know we all know through that that form of peacefulness comes uh, destruction. It says stern and cold in appearance or manner. Okay, they try to spruce this uh, um, whatever this hippie looking character is uh, to be. Uh, a Charles Manson guy to be, you know, so-called handsome, okay? It says, so somber, grave, you know, morally strict, okay? Mar markedly simple or under un unadored, okay? So, when, you know, when you lead, you're in this truth, you can't be soft, you know, there's a time for everything, it's time for compassion, love, mercy, but for the most part, you know, when we out there teaching, we got to be hardcore to our people. The scripture says, Isaiah 58, 1, cry aloud, spare not. So punching that sign was a beautiful thing, you know. If, if you're going to wake up and you understand that this was all a hoax, imagine you being scammed and frauded. See, that the only way you'll really understand what's going on with this fake Jesus is if you ever been scammed or frauded and somebody took your identity and used it in other manners of, of life or to make money or whatever they did to get credit well that's what they did to uh, the son of the most high stole his identity and the Lord allowed it so they could create some new uh, religion and enslave us with this false identity so now upon waking up you should be angry you know the pressure make a wise man mad which mad goes to being wiser smarter we should know now that all this is fake and you've been duped okay and it's time to wake the hell up so yes I condone the punching of the sign it was just a piece of cardboard but that was vocab Malone's way of saying that we are the type of people that we have no compassion and we're just a hate group and a, a so-called occult you know, uh, we're the hate group, but you got the U.S. military with all these bases around uh, in the name of peace and war. You know, if you could believe that, bombing people, setting up their own stage and their own bombs and whatever they're doing in the name of peace. Having these particular parades in the so-called Holy Land who don't even believe in uh, Yahweh Shah. They, they even call you Christians a coom out of the town mood. Look it up. You know, which is a form of uh, a hater of, of Yahawashi. They know this. That's all I have on that, Shalom.